Hi friends, in this video we'll see how to optimize the SSH config file to work more efficiently. The SSH config file is read every time you want to establish a SSH connection and it's located under the user profile directory in the .ssh directory. If you have general options you want to be applied to all your hosts you connect to through SSH, then define them using the asterisk. Here I have a simple example where options are identified for all hosts I want to connect to. Just keep in mind that when defining values this way to all hosts, you can't have the same type of value changed for other hosts. If you do that, then the value assigned to all hosts is used by default. In this case, the first SSH key assigned to all hosts will be used and not the one ending with pro. But if you want to use different options for some of your hosts, then you can define them separately. That way you can use different IP addresses for destinations, usernames or SSH keys and assign them to an easy to remember alias. You would then SSH to the alias instead of defining every option in the command line. Start by defining the options that apply to all hosts then you can start with options for a group of hosts by using wildcards like asterisk question mark or exclamation point asterisk is to substitute one or more characters question mark is for one character and the exclamation point is to negate and after that you can define indig individual hosts by using the exclamation point, you can define the options to be negated for some of your hosts. Here we are saying that all hosts that don't start with pro will have a different username and SSH key. Anything starting with pro and has only one character after it is defined separately. Hope you enjoyed this video about how to best set up your SSH config file. And I'll see you in the next video.